Optician, staff, training. Three words that strike fear into the hearts of owners, managers, docs, anyone who is responsible for hiring and managing opticians. If your own pulse is quickened with stress at the sound of those three words, keep watching. I promise you won't regret it. Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are going to switch gears a little bit. And instead of talking to opticians, I am going to speak to those of you that hire and train opticians. Today, I am going to tell you about a new way to train your staff that I believe will literally change optician training forever. As a licensed optician with nearly 30 years of experience, a graduate of a brick and mortar college opticianry school, and opticianry school instructor with a master's degree, I can tell you that an optician trained with this new approach will be more qualified and provide more benefit to your business than the same person having completed any other certification, licensing, or degree program that exists today. Now that's a rather big claim, isn't it? Well, the claim gets even bigger when I tell you that it will cost you either nothing or next to nothing. To have the kind of opticians on staff that truly know their craft and will help grow your business. Look, we know how hard it is to find and train good opticians. That's exactly why the Optician Works online optician training program was started. But as convenient as online training is, it does have its very obvious limitations. The biggest one being the lack of a hands-on practical application. Well, here is a solution. This is the Laramie K Optician Works Optician Qualification Standard or OQS. And the OQS brings the optician curriculum out of the books and off of the web pages and into real life. The OQS is 100% free to download and it contains everything that an optician should know and be able to do in order to do his or her job well. Breaking it all down into nice bite-sized pieces of knowledge and practical requirements. The OQS acts as a roadmap, progress monitor, and a motivational tool all in one. As long as you have at least one or two people in your office who can discuss, verify, and sign off on the requirements, you can essentially hand this document to your new hire or trainee, set a realistic timeline for completion, and you're on your way. Let's take a look at what's inside. Before we jump to the inside of the OQS, let's talk briefly about the outside of the OQS. There is a very deliberate reason that this is not an app or some kind of lame computer-based training. It is a hard three-ring binder because it is designed specifically to act as a physical record of your accomplishments. Let me tell you a little bit more about the entire concept of an OQS. We had been struggling with adding a practical component to the Optician Works program for almost 13 years. And we had kicked around a lot of ideas. I mean, wow, a lot of ideas. When in fact, the solution had always been sitting right in front of us. The qualification standard concept comes out of the U.S. military, something that Keith has experienced. If you think about a modern aircraft carrier, one of those things, get about 6,000 people on board there. Every single person 
on that ship from the deckhands to the people operating the nuclear power plant earned that position by completing a qualification standard. Look, Keith's a little shy about it. Keith, the K in Laramie K, he actually is capable of running a nuclear power plant aboard an aircraft carrier. It sure as hell impresses me, and you know how he did it? A qualification standard. And look, all we're trying to do is create some great opticians for you. I am going to read this, and I'm gonna read it verbatim, and I'm gonna read through it as fast as I can, and then I'm gonna kind of paraphrase for you. Starts with an introduction, and it states the purpose of the OQS. The purpose of this program is to define a qualification standard for the knowledge, understanding, and practical skills necessary to perform the duties associated with the role of optician. In this context, optician is defined as a person who makes, sells, and fits eyeglasses. This qualification standard is not intended to meet the requirements of contact lens specialist, optometric assistant, or an ophthalmic tech. This standard is also intended to provide means and a method of accountability for training and building proficiency of optical staff members in the presence or absence of other licensing and or certification requirements. In other words, this is a new standalone independent optician training standard. While it is highly recommended this standard be used in conjunction with the Optician Works online training program, it may also be used with other reference materials and or educational programs that provide the trainee with sufficient knowledge to complete the stated requirements. Look, Optician Works is $99 a year. Okay, not exactly expensive by anyone's standards. The OQS will work best when paired with the Optician Works program, but you certainly don't have to use it. And you know what? We'll even throw a free membership in for your qualifiers. How do we complete an OQS? The qualification standard is divided into three sections. 100, that's our knowledge standards, knowledge theories and understanding required to perform the practical aspects of the role of optician. This is the theory, the big picture stuff. The qualifier trainee sign off will be more of a discussion, a draw me, explain. You'll be hearing that kind of language. The 200 section, this is our practical application standards. Skill areas requiring a practical proficiency necessary to perform the role of optician. This is the hands-on practical application or you know, the show me stuff. Show me that you can actually do what you say you can. In the 300 section, the final board of review, a leadership and senior staff review of the trainee and the program effectiveness. This is your opportunity to evaluate and review both the progress of your trainee and the effectiveness of this program. It's also a time where you can improve your own implementation of the program and provide us with feedback on how to make it better. So how does this actually work? Well, we spent the better part of a year cataloging every single practical and theoretical skill that a competent optician needs to have. Then we assembled that list into the individual qualifications. Wherever possible, we also include a reference point from either the Optician Works website and or the YouTube videos where that skill can be learned. The trainee works through the complete qualification standard roughly in order and gains a sign off or a qualifier, sig qualifier signature for each entry mastered. We have a note here for the trainee. To work through the standard, select a requirement to complete and study the topic on your own or in conjunction with a training program until you know the material and or meet the intent of the requirement. Afterwards, arrange a meter meeting with a qualifier designated or approved by your employer or supervisor. The qualifier will engage in a discussion or ask you to demonstrate a thorough understanding or completion of that requirement. 
If the qualifier is satisfied you meet the intent of the requirement, he or she will sign and date signifying its completion. If not, you have more work to do. Repeat for each requirement until the qualification standard is complete. Pretty straightforward, really. Study, practice, master the skill, get it signed off, complete that roughly 200 times, and you're done. The trainee is highly encouraged and, in some cases, required to seek a variety of individual qualifiers to sign off. This includes qualifiers from other stores, labs, and outside of the trainee's place of employment. Unless otherwise stated, no qualification requirement should be removed, altered, or skipped. Even if the trainee's place of employment does not perform certain functions, finishing contact lenses, the understanding of the requirements are still considered important enough that they must still be performed off-site. Super, super important here, right? If you don't do contact lenses where you work or you don't do in-house finishing, we don't care. A competent optician still needs to understand contact lenses, and a competent optician knows how to make a pair of glasses. So you still need to do those things, even if you don't do them as part of your daily work. And of course, you're also free to add other stuff. Feedback. Uh, we're really open to feedback, and we genuinely mean that. We embrace constructive criticism and change. We made a bunch of changes when we first sent this out for beta testing, and our email addresses are right there. Before you begin, this is a little note to the trainee and trainers, you are at the beginning of a journey, and this is actually true. As such, there are some items you will want to gather to help you along the way. Let me show you how, my, how I have my own OQS assembled here, and I'll talk about the other stuff you might want to collect. My own binder. It's a three ring, heavy duty, inch and a half binder. Put my little cover sheet in there. The first page is a business card holder. Now, I know business cards are starting to go a little bit out of style. We tend to do more contacts, phone thing, but again, this acts as a physical record of the people that your trainee has come in contact with. Very important piece. I have a file folder just for people to collect things. I've got an article on face shields here. Um, I was at a trade show. I was looking at the OptiCam, so I've got a brochure. Got a place to keep that kind of stuff. I've got just typical eight and a half by 11 clear protective sheets. I've got my resultant prism chart in here. I've got an old standard alignment chart. I've got the ANSI quick guide. And I stuck in some lined notebook paper for making notes. And of course I could always add more there. Now, in addition to that, what we're going to want to do is collect lenses. Now, most stores have scrap lenses laying around of different kinds. These are whole because we're from the lab, but you can use cut ones as well, but you're gonna want as many as possible, different material style shapes. And I like things with high sill because you can get that touch feel, shallow curve, steep curve, thick edge, thin edge, highest power, lowest power, all good things to have to get that tactile feedback. And you're gonna want frames. You're gonna want frames in every possible style mounting, every possible material. You're gonna be bending them, mounting lenses. So the more frames, the better. Let us take a look at an actual 100 and an actual 200 qualifier. Uh, let's look at 111.13 if you've printed this out. If not, it says draw or use actual lenses to discuss and explain the relationship between lens curves, lens power, and lens thickness for a given material in minus lenses. Now, I think I had a minus lens there. Yeah. So, what that would sound like when someone trainee came to the qualifier and said, hey, I'm ready to talk about this. They would talk about the material. They would talk about what I just said. They talk about shallow curve, thick curve, thick edge, thin edge, highest power, lowest power, cylinder value, material. That's the kind of language. That's what you'd be hearing, looking for to say, yes, this person has mastered that qualification. Now let's flip over to our 200, our practical requirements, and see how that sounds a little bit different. If we look at 220.1, 
It says, perform the steps for standard alignment on a series of three metal frames that have been sat or stepped on. Reference, Optician Works Course 3, Section 2, All of the Lessons. Okay, this would again be a show me, a practical. You're not taking someone's word for it. You are setting that trainee down. You are taking three metal frames that have been stepped on or sat on, and they are putting them back in standard alignment. The 300 series are about reflection of the experience or looking back. And just as important, looking forward. The motto of Laramie K Optician Works is never stop learning. So the 300 final board meeting is a great time to plan for what's next. As I mentioned, the qualification standard has a proven track record of success, and its design has some additional benefits. I mentioned that the OQS is deliberately designed as an old-fashioned, hard-copy binder. Each signature acts as a reward or a little endorphin tickle that makes the trainee want more. You'll also find that by giving the trainee the opportunity to learn a topic on his or her own before engaging in conversation and the personalized coaching, the method results in deeper learning and better retention. But then the OQS goes further to reinforce concepts by actually having the trainee put them into practice. This level of learning cannot happen by reading a book, listening to a lecture, or even in a classroom, because it all takes place in an actual working environment. Next, if you think about how the discussions take place after every requirement, each provides a unique opportunity for review and growth for anyone involved in the conversation, or even those within earshot, particularly when the discussions take place on topics that may not be too common in your own store. The net effect here is that it raises the knowledge and the competence of your entire team and helps to get everyone on the same page. As you look through the requirements, you'll notice that many of them go beyond the simple study get signature format. Some require interaction with coworkers, sales reps, local labs, and yes, even people from other stores. The idea here is to include different perspectives and to encourage your trainee to keep an open mind, learn in different ways, and ultimately to think for themselves. That's something you can't get from any one trainer or one teacher. Finally, we created the program to encourage learning beyond the requirements. There is so much more to opticianry than passing an exam or even just checking off boxes. We want trainees to be curious about the field and to understand more about the business and the craft of opticianry. And most importantly, the customers that they serve, bringing true value to the position. These are the things that will ultimately set your store apart and bring success to your business. For your own copy of the Laramie K Optician Works Optician Qualification Standard, just head on over to the Optician Works website, opticianworks.com forward slash OQS.